every single person is in one way or another looking for a way to you know develop themselves to do better things to be better people and at the end of the day i kind of feel like we're all pursuing the same thing <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel hi guys how are you all doing if this is your first time of seeing my face here on youtube thank you very much for stopping by and if you've been here before maybe you're a returning subscriber thank you very much also you're welcome you all are welcome if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and you know turn on the bell notification so you can get a notification whenever you know i post the video here on youtube basically in this video i'm not trying to be cliche or anything of that sort i just wanted to come up here and you know talk to you guys and let you guys know some of the things that can be really helpful when it comes to productivity every single person is in one way or another looking for a way to you know develop themselves to do better things to be better people and at the end of the day i kind of feel like we're all pursuing the same thing um maybe in different ways maybe you do one thing or another just to get yourself on the way and also to improve if i'd say so and um basically these are just some tips that you can actually apply that can be helpful you know for you to be a better person be in a better place and so these are just a few tips you know for productivity self-improvement self-development and all that so my first tip that i will give not as a professional or anything like that but things that I've seen that have worked and things that I know that actually work in this time and day. My first tip would be to know yourself. At the end of the day, everybody is different. Every single person has a different journey. And this is something that I, I preach so much on my channel because I understand that, you know, there's a lot of um, comparison in, in this time and age. And at the end of the day, you just discover that everybody is trying to do what the next person is doing. And I'm not saying that, you know, don't go with things that work at the moment but when you realize that it's not working for you what worked for somebody else did not work for you you have to sit down go back to the drawing board and realize that you are different and maybe there is something you're not doing that you're supposed to do that you alone are supposed to do i don't know if this makes sense or you know you might just sound like oh she's trying to say the same thing over and over again but know yourself know your peculiarities know how how special you are understand your journey understand yourself because at the end of the day it's only when you know thyself that you'll be able to do any other thing like even if you decide that okay you want to follow the path of maybe one person that you're looking up to if you don't know yourself if you don't know your strengths you don't know your limits you don't know your weaknesses I don't think it's going to work because maybe you might push yourself too hard more than you can take and then at the end of the day you break you like you might just break and you would say oh if this person did it i can do it i love the motivation i love the motivation but don't push yourself too hard to the point where you have to break just because you want to prove a point like the point could be in the little things you do the point could be in the little things you know so at the end of the day like i said know yourself know your journey understand what you're here to do try and find it like <laughs> try and find it because it's hard it's hard to discover purpose it's hard to do any of those things but try and know why you're here and yeah go ahead and live for you live for yourself live live according to what you can offer to the world that's just what i have to say for the first point and for the second point you should be positive i understand at some point in some people's lives there's nothing to be grateful about there's nothing positive happening like maybe if you if you say if you say so there's nothing positive happening there's nothing serious happening there's no breakthrough there's no achievement and all that but you know people keep saying that even for life itself we need to be grateful we have to be grateful and i definitely believe that even for life itself i have to be grateful and i'm seeing it as though if i'm grateful for life definitely i would see more things in life to be grateful for and i'm not just saying it because oh if you're grateful for life or if you're grateful you you tell the universe that you're like that kind of thing no that's not what i'm about like okay when you when you're grateful you tell the universe that you know you are open to accept more no i'm not about that i'm just saying like if you look deep into things like if you look deep into whatever situation you're in right now or whatever situation you think that you want to get out from right now you'll definitely be able to like 
up your game you'll be able to be grateful you'll be able to see good things and see positive things about exactly what is going on in your life at the moment that's just what i'm saying it just doesn't end there because at the end of the day if you develop an attitude of gratitude if you do it, it, it would only be a matter of time where you would not see your problems anymore and i'm being honest about it because i've been in situations like that like i know okay some things come and then you have to talk about them you have to think about them just so maybe you don't make the same mistakes you have to think about the problem to get a solution but then it doesn't apply to every single situation because sometimes it's just we focus too much on the problems there is no solution there is nothing we can do about it we just sit there suck and then like try to kill ourselves about it which is not supposed to be the 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 situation every single time like sometimes you can be positive and it like i said it's only a matter of time until that positivity just grows to something better and every single time you face a challenge or you, you get into a, a problem or you face an issue like it, it just doesn't it doesn't affect you as much anymore and that is my second tip for you guys and my third tip is to plan if you want to be productive you have to plan aside like even if you are you get rid of the negative mindset even if you you know you're grateful every single time and you don't plan you don't you don't make any effort to do anything like where are you going to get results from where is the product going to come from how are you going to be productive and that brings me to the point where i let you guys know that i have a journal on amazon and you know it's it's low cost you can definitely just get it by clicking on the first link in the description and it's an undated journal everything is everything looks good i'll insert the picture on the screen so you guys can just you know really see what it looks like if you're interested in getting it be my guest click on the first link in the description it is perfect for planning it is perfect for you know getting things down getting your thoughts down getting your ideas down and at the end of the day you'll be grateful that you did plan always plan like even if it, it feels unnecessary even if the task feels unnecessary even if the project feels unnecessary even if you don't think that oh it will work just put it down put it down it might not work today it, like some ideas were were bettered like years and decades ago but then they they were just reinstated and that was when it took off like don't think that your idea is stupid don't think that your idea is is far-fetched like it's not possible i'm not a fan of that i know that there are things that i've written that i've, I've written down like years 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 back and i'm still looking at them i'm like okay how did i even come up with this idea at that time like how how was i able to do it i'm still in shock really like how was I able to come up with an idea like years back and that idea still hits the idea still slaps up until this moment and even till now i feel like those ideas were too big for me as at that time and they are still really big for me at this point so i still need time and if those ideas were not there before i would have forgotten about them and who knows so i don't know when you know every other thing is going to be in place in your life but at the moment where you feel like you're going through a lot that's when you need to you need to put things down so in years to come you look back and then you'll be like yeah this shit happened this stuff happened and like i was able to overcome i was able to get through it and oh so that's my third tip and you know the the, the other parts you know of this tip for my first tip to my third tip they all include like they all involve you to actually put things down like if you want to be positive you want to be grateful like sometimes you drop many just saying it is it's it's not it's like it's not going to cut it sometimes you need to put these things down like you're grateful for something you're happy about something in your life even if your life is not perfect which by the way nobody nobody's life is but your life is not perfect you see the good in every single situation you put it down and you you remember that even in the toughest of times this is what you were grateful for in your entire life and i feel like that helps it helps a ton so my fourth tip is positive affirmations i know my number two i said like be positive but then like sometimes we try as much as possible but it doesn't work like sometimes you you try as much as possible but it doesn't work it feels like the world is against you you get that's when this fourth tip comes in you you are able to to say to yourself that you know come with me i got this i i got this and that is one thing that i have in my journal that just that just it blows my mind like i got this no matter what happens like i'm not wretched i am not hopeless i'm not a failure i'm not all of these things that that my situations my circumstances say that i am i am 
I am, I am you know wonderfully created i have i have the entire world in my hands i can i can create i can manifest it's like bro why not so like at the end of the day there are some things you have to say to yourself i can also link like a list of positive affirmations down in the descriptions still working on some projects that you know are going to need to follow through this series just so that like some of us just need to reinvent ourselves we need to find ourselves and this is where this whole this whole series comes in i'm definitely working on a lot of projects that are just going to fill your mind with positivity because when you feel positive believe me you can just do anything and everything so yeah my fourth point positive affirmations talk to yourself in the nicest and sweetest of ways like be good to yourself that's the only way you can create something good out of yourself I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I think it does. Okay, that's my fifth point, guys. For my fifth point, anything that is what doing is what doing well. It's what doing good. It's what doing great. I I understand that sometimes we act like we don't have anything going on in our lives. Whereas, like for me, right for me, I am always afraid of failure, and I know that this is not this is not something that I could come out to just say like people say failure is a is a huge part of success you get and i am always afraid of failure sometimes i don't do things because i feel like i'm going to fail at it yeah i don't do things because i feel like and i've had people encourage me like time and time again this thing is good this thing is great just do it and i haven't been able to and i just know that this is a lifestyle that i have overcome like i have moved from that point where i'm scared of doing something even like to the point of coming to this like this point of my life i was scared i didn't want to do it but it was like i had to pick up myself and be like melody you have to get up from your house you have to do this you have to you have to leave your comfort zone and even though it wasn't so comforting but like you have to leave your comfort zone you have to do something and whatever you're doing do it with everything you've got because you don't know where that breakthrough is going to be coming from you don't know where that where that success is going to come from so if you feel like oh yeah this thing is in my life and yeah it's just going to get ruined so i'll just leave it to get ruined like that's one thing some of us do like a lot of us do it like it's it's not going to work anyway so i'll just leave it instead of wasting my time and then it ends up not working i'm going to feel disappointed feel disappointed put in your best and for you to know that this your best wasn't enough anything you want to do seriously do it good do it well do it fine and who knows that might be the breakthrough that might be what you've been looking for for you know all your life thank you very much guys for watching this video i don't know how it came off but i just hope it helps somebody somehow if you enjoyed this video please give it a very big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video stay productive guys <laughs>